hello traders it's Ray here samurai trader welcome to this session why you should join my master trader private group coaching once a month I run eight two-hour sessions over 16 hours of how to trade where to trade and when to trade and the purpose of this video is to give you a really good overview of my coaching and what I cover now one thing I do promise you you'll be able to walk away even if you don't join my coaching program you're going to pick up some great ideas that will have a fantastic effect bottom line effect improvement or help improve your bottom line as always traders my uh, videos are raw real and unedited I don't have a script I just got the slides so if I get lost at times uh, you'll just have to excuse me but we do have a lot of things I, I really want to share with you as always I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading please feel uh, free to pause the video and to read the disclaimer now many of you watching this webinar the majority of you watching this webinar are already members of the day traders fast track program you already know how good the program is you've got access to the huge amount of resources that I have in my program and you don't have to join my coaching program however stay with me till the end of a webinar because if you decide my private group coaching is not for you you will pick up a ton of ideas that will help take you to your next level when it comes to your trading because I will be talking about the 2b I'll be talking briefly about the t8 the t4 and some other ideas that I've added to my program of recent times that it's just having a fantastic uh, bottom line effect for members getting some fantastic testimonials these ideas will improve your bottom line now as a reminder also where to find my latest uploads let me just quickly show you this login using your members um, uh, your login go to my Google Drive and you will see here a folder called new recordings and uploads now most of you already know about this folder and all of the other all of the other information there so I've got uploaded there a cheat sheet for the 2b now all of my cheat sheets now I now um, uh, label them v6 v7 v8 with if they're being updated so you can quickly check and see whether any of my cheat sheets have updates so you will find the latest uh, cheat sheet for trading the 2b in the folder new recordings and uploads and while we're here if you're a new member watching this please take the time and go through every folder on my Google Drive there's a ton of research reports on the 34b all the other resources and unfortunately and this really gets back to a lot of what I'm going to be talking about today that is you've got to become a student of the market you've got to put the time in and you need to invest the time going through all of the folders and the information I've got on my Google Drive it is as a number as members tell me it's a gold mine it is the last program you'll ever have to invest in so let's now get back and I just need to uh, get back over here so I can minimize that for a moment let's get back to this but the, the big thing is make sure you visit that uh, that folder on a regular basis for new cheat sheets and links to the new recordings now also a couple of members mentioned and as you're going to see today about my Renko trading there is a folder there on Renko and you'll see there's a uh, there's three or four videos I've done on how to trade Renko the settings and there is a cheat sheet there on the ideal time settings now let's get back to this why you should consider joining my coaching program now reaching master day traders status is not just reserved for the fortunate few um, and you know who is my private coaching program for it's for every day trader that wishes to either take their trading to the next level or for the day traders who wish to be live trading in weeks rather than months or years as we go through the coaching program through my 16 hours we go over as you're about to discover today hundreds of trade examples you're going to discover um, uh, where you should enter where you place your stops etc now whether you trade futures 
Forex or stocks my coaching programs for you yes we might focus more on the ES and CL and gold and the Nasdaq however the patterns are geometric they appear in all markets and all time frames most of my training now I base around Renko charts and tick charts however the same setups work on Renko range tick volume or time based charts okay all markets all time frames and all markets very very important now when I say all time frames one thing I do have to say on that the lower the time frame you go of course the more noise you get in the market natural fact I'm going to be showing you some trade stats from the ES uh, today and that will actually illustrate that really well I'll remember that when I get to it now in today's session I'm also going to give a few traders what I call a rev up and um, you know I'm going to be candid with you because a lack of candor is not going to do you any favors traders you have to stop the blame game you really do and in most cases you've got to have a good look at yourself in the mirror it's very very easy to continually blame other people why you're not making it as a trader you can do this you know it ain't rocket science Okay, but you've got to stop blaming others and really look at the time and the commitment that you're willing to make you've got to invest the time if you invest the time in gaining the screen time I'll teach you the world's best patterns that's the easy side but what you've got to do is implement it very very important because quite often people will throw rocks at me and say that strategies don't work etc well as you're about to see traders there's only one reason why the strategies don't work it's because you don't do the work you don't put them in place now very important if you don't already please grab a notebook and a pen uh, very important or your as you know or if you remember your trading journal okay um, very very important as we go through this I'm going to be giving you some snippets if you listen to some of the things I've got to say you'll go aha what a great idea I can use this so I want you to remember that we what we focus on and think about we become so I want you to really ask yourself intelligent empowering questions as I go through today's presentation what can I learn from this how can I use this what is great about this as I mentioned even if you don't join my coaching program there are ideas that will really accelerate your trading so what we focus on is what we tend to manifest we already know that we tend to head in the direction that we face so many traders focus on why it won't work or why it can't be done and they wonder why they don't achieve their goals I need you to start to reframe the questions that you're asking yourself if something's not working for you you ask what can I learn from this how can I fix this how can I do this better next time note the presupposition it can be done or fixed unfortunately so many traders are a burnt and we're going to be looking at a slide in a moment on that that they become paralyzed you know I'd rather be an optimist and wrong some of the time than a pessimist and right all of the time now I'm going to be going through some things and showing you a few things in a moment that may be dreary and you may be thinking so what okay but it's important that you understand the research that I undertake and the logic behind my coaching program and the strategies and the techniques that I teach you need to watch a complete session because as I've said already if you decide not to join my coaching program that's fine but I'm going to share with you a whole range of ideas that could change your future now this is what happens with many members when they join my program some even say at times it's a little disorganized and the reason it is there's over now 300 videos as you know there's there's literally hundreds of handouts now because it keeps growing every week I'm adding a new ebook I'm adding new trade notes a new video a Q&A session etc it keeps growing however when you become a student of the market you look forward to the new stuff okay but one of the challenges for newer traders or traders that have been finding it tough is where to from here and of course in my coaching program it's really about teaching you the A to Z and looking at what we call the right hand side of the chart so you can immediately visualize and see 
whether you have a trade set up so it's one of the big things is you get all the knowledge but you get confused just to really clarify that another big thing with my coaching and it's an issue that I deal with every day and I want you to listen very carefully to this particularly if you've already found it tough okay many of you have heard me talk many times about learned helplessness which is the psychological damage particularly done to traders when they've blown their account once or twice three or four times maybe a lot of money or maybe invested in a course that didn't work for them at the time uh, etc and what happens is um, like for an example the dog uh, we can see people walk up to the dog and it will cower when most people are frightened of dogs and the dog could run away but it will just lay there it's called learned helplessness and and in many ways I don't like to bring this up but we've seen it in wars where prisoners are being marched off to their death and there's only you know 10 20 guards there yet there's a couple of hundred prisoners why don't they charge the guards right it's a psychological issue that comes up and particularly when it comes to trading and it's something that we work on very very hard in coaching getting the head right now this is something that you don't have to do and you, you would have seen this when you first joined or when you were looking at the marketing material in joining my program where I, I talk a little bit about this but I want to come back to it and remind you of a couple of things I've been doing this now for over 25 years seeking a better way to trade I'm a researcher I'm a trader I love trading if you spoke to any of my one-to-one -one coaching members that have um, uh, been to my office here they'll just they walk in and usually want to spend half an hour just going through my bookshelves um, going through my computer files they just want to look at the stuff that I've got here I love trading I'm addicted to trading and researching finding a better way these are some of the reasons or this is the main reason why you should be listening to me have I made mistakes in life I've made a ton of them okay I've probably made more than 10 people put together however you can learn from the good and the bad that I've done the mistakes that I've made in trading you can learn from that now when it comes to my strategies as you're going to see today um, uh, you know I model I'm a researcher and as it says here to take everything out of one book is plagiarism to take it out of 20 books is research I am a researcher now what that means to you is I'm producing and coming up with the best of the best all the time if there's anything better any improvement my coaching members are the first to find out about it they get to know it straight away now I've been in a fortunate position to be able to invest in research and development employ full-time traders staff consultants CTAs uh, prop traders working for me and as many of you know and as you're about to see I've purchased just about everything that looks promising looking for that edge now there's a difference so between looking for that edge and what I call the shiny object syndrome many traders unfortunately uh, they'll have two or three losses maybe five or six losses in a strategy or an idea then they'll go and look for the next best thing I'm always looking this is something here that can give my current entry an edge um, is there anything can improve what I'm already doing that's what I'm looking for to improve the edge that I have I'm a firm believer in something that Tony Robbins teaches uh, can I constant and never-ending improvement now this is a journey and I know many of you have already been on and this is uh, my, my good self in the boardroom there um, and this is only as you know a small portion of the books you don't have to do this right I've got um, hundreds of books um, some of you some of you know I used to own a data business providing data uh, data as my American friends would pronounce it as uh, to stock traders and I had a traders library where I would lend books uh, and so you know I just have got hundreds of books uh, in my collection uh, the research reports I've put together over the years and as I can tell you there are probably I've probably come across at least 100 to 200 programs strategies or ideas that actually do work right so there, there are hundreds of strategies and ideas that work some better than others uh, you rarely I, I'm yet to see a robot or an automated system beat the 
the hands-on day trader because we can be in a, a turn a pullback or a retracement with one or two within one or two candles so we'll always beat the robots however now I know some of you are purists and you'll argue with me about that but overall it's true it's very very hard to beat a really good scalper and that's what many of these research reports are about is how to day trade what does this mean to you is I'm giving you the best of the best um, this is just a quick snapshot of my trade station uh, and this is only A to C's and this is going from C down to E's I've purchased hundreds of trading indicators over years we've tested we've set them up as strategies and tested them and automated testing so I've been there and I've done that and once again that's what I do for my members now now if you're not a member of the day traders fast track program which if you are for some reason if you're watching this video welcome first of all this is sort of research that all of my members get now what gives me my edge well first of all I work harder than anyone else that I know in the industry it's true I work incredible hours um, at what I do but I love what I do and the only place that I know where success comes before work is in a dictionary let me say that again the only place in the world that I know where success comes before work is in a dictionary so you need to work hard you've got to become a student of the markets now that's if you want to earn the big bucks now if you're happy maybe earning ten fifteen thousand dollars a year or if you're happy with your job and by the way job job just stands for just over broke okay just keep doing what you're doing but if you want to step up to the plate if you want to get up there where you're earning one two three five hundred thousand a year up there in that top five percent which you can do you've got to put the work in that's the reality you've got to learn the patterns the patterns that I teach whether it be the 2b the 34b they're all patterns the market has a memory these patterns repeat each and every day as far as the indicators go most of the indicators I use are available on every trading platform there's nothing new under the Sun Gann famously said that and it's true um, virtually every indicator is a derivative of price um, the only look probably the most powerful leading indicator that I know, that I know of is, a, is the floor pivots right because they're they're price magnets right so you know particularly if you're trading off the floor pivot to the s1 or the r1 you know with a very high um, probability probably 90 odd percent that price is going to hit those okay that's a leading indicator my trading rules on my entries my exits where my stop goes my money management now I work on 0.5 percent but I can add up to a position up to uh, four times if you're starting out and you have a small account you're only going to start with a maximum of two percent and build you've got to earn the right to increase and by the way on that point you only start with one contract then you double their money then you go to two this is the stuff that we talk about which is really important now my thinking is I trade like a casino the individual trade means nothing to me I think in trade lots of 20 I think like a casino because I know I've got the mathematical edge um, very quickly what gives the casino the house edge rules and probabilities do you see the dealer missing a hand or changing the rules because the house just had four losing hands in a row of course not if you follow the right money management you got the right trading rules and you've got the um, mathematical edge of course you're more, you're just way ahead and this is where many many traders and here is let me just pull that down by one thing there uh, and that's the edge that we have and I know you don't mind me making a couple of corrections as I go along here okay so very very important this these are some of the things that gives me the edge in the market now when you enter a highly competitive field of trading and it is unfortunately many traders uh, watch a YouTube video or pick up a couple of books or purchase a course and they think that you know and they wonder why that they're not up and running next week you'll be amazed at the amount of emails that I receive each month from um, people asking me is there really much to learn I mean so many people just think it's just a walk over you just walk in and you start trading um, we're trading against some of the finest the sharpest and toughest minds in the business uh, 
but the great news for you and for me <laughs> is that you know you don't have to be a genius it's not about intelligence this business it really isn't and you know thanks to a concept of what we call modeling now we can model the brightest minds in the business now I want you to humor me for on, on this because you'll see where I'm going with this many of you know that um, and 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 I know that uh, many of my coaching members who watch this video know that I usually talk about at least one super trader each trading day each coaching session it's because we can learn their what we call their syntax the syntax is a set of rules is how they trade you know Richard Dennis which we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, him in a moment he borrowed uh, 1600 from his family uh, and purchased a seat in the exchange and then use $400 and turned it into 200 million and we'll begin to look at something very interesting that he has to say in a moment uh, Dan Zenga um, 10,000 in the 42 million in less than three years now I know what some of you are going to say but yes that was during the tech boom yes it was yes we had some incredible volatility in that time and some great trends however be careful of how you're reframing this isn't this great now wouldn't we like to know how they did this so look let's look carefully at what they did what makes them unique what's their syntax now so what I'm trying to say here again as I go through these things traders I want you to be thinking wow how do they do it what can I learn um, we look at uh, Marty Swartz the pit bull got something on him in a moment now typically he earns uh, he's 75 now he doesn't do too much trading I believe now but typically he earned around 300 to 500 thousand uh, per month day trading S&P now I know you can't really live on that sort of money but it will pay a few bills uh, Jim Cramer <laughs> uh, I've got him on the list there but um, but really his TV help show helps he earns 10 million a year etc now you've got the opportunity but to become a super trader I'm going to be showing you some strategies today where you take them is up to you it really is up to you now great traders are not made sorry let me say that again is that a Freudian slip great traders are made they're not born now whatever your limits are they're self-imposed now I know it sounds like a cliche and this is tough if you're blowing your trading account but you've got to treat your past as a learning ex experience you've got to draw a line in the sand and say here on in I've learned from it's only been part of my trading education one of the biggest challenges I have with traders is uh, when I do coaching one-on-one -on -one or group coaching um, and, and by the way I'm totally booked out for one-on-one so please um, uh, if you email me I'm just gonna I'll send you an email back but I can't help you with one-on-one -on -one for at least the next six months or so but but <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there but um, if you believe you're right um, uh, you know that is if you believe you can you're right if you believe you can't you're right if you look back on your past and say I failed well you're probably not going to make it now we've got to really work on the head stuff and this is really what coaching is about now getting back to the turtles and getting back to Richard Dennis you probably heard about the, the turtles they were made famous in the 1980s uh, Richard Dennis uh, actually went over to he, he had a partner and they were doing huge things and as I mentioned he ended up turning $400 into um, uh, 200 million dollars and he was in Singapore and he went out to a farm and he noticed that there were hundreds of turtles swimming around because they eat turtles over there and uh, he, he came up with a concept and he always argued with his partner that he wanted to recruit and teach other traders uh, their trading concepts and so let me just give you a couple of things in summary about that because it's important um, let's breed turtles now what they did they ran some advertisements and they had about a thousand applications they recruited 23 three were dropped and 20 of those averaged 100 percent profit per annum now when you really study what what he taught them and how he did he was really blase he trained them over two weeks uh, Richard Dennis was a was a trend following um, uh, uh, funds manager yes he had some major challenges in 87 but that's a lot of people got hit if you're a pure trend follower and we've got a number of rules you'll see today on following the trend but um, the, the bottom line is though his average return from his traders was around 100% and 
after recruiting um, uh, you know he was asked a lot of questions about it but first of all most traders are not successful this is a question that was asked he was interviewed in the book uh, market wizards and uh, let me just go through a couple of the questions that he answered he was asked this most traders are not successful in the first year what were you doing differently he said I think it was more foresight I had very pale ideas um, I don't know what rails means must be rules and attitudes about the market then but a few that I learned were right like go with the trend now when he trained the turtles he was asked didn't you have any reluctance about giving away trade secrets sure but I don't think trading strategies are as vulnerable uh, to not working if people know about them as most traders believe uh, he went on there to say this that is if he was to publish the trading rules in the newspaper no one would follow them so he didn't care that he taught a lot of people how he traded because he said many of them won't follow the rules anyway and what he said one of the key things with trading is that the key is consistency and discipline almost anybody can make up a list of rules that are 80% as good as what we taught our people what they couldn't do is give them confidence to stick to those rules even where things are going bad and of course it comes down to having the right strategy and the right money management something here which is really important because I'm going to be quickly showing you some trade stats on trading gold CL and the ES all total different markets and he was asked how much common behavior is there between markets are the patterns of beans similar to the patterns of bonds or do markets have their own personalities I could trade without knowing the name of the market so what you're saying is the patterns in different markets are very similar yes in our research if a system doesn't work for both bonds and beans we don't care about it traders the exact same thing I will say to you about the patterns that appear um, uh, say on Forex will appear on the S&P they might even though mark different markets have different personalities but they're just about identical now a lot of the research a lot of the great ideas that I've got on a quickly go through this uh, like the super scalper that you see on my chart the original idea of a super scalper I got from John Carter he calls he's got one called the scalper uh, except it lags a little bit more than mine uh, fantastic book by the way come out in about 1999 the pit bull that I smarty Swartz now if you go and read smarty Swartz, Swartz uh, talk about interesting um, many of you know I'm a scalper I'm also in and out quickly I have trouble try um, trailing my stops etc because I'm good at scalping that suits my personality but let me quote you a few bits of information out of this book once again when I look at a book when I review a book or a video or a YouTube I have my pen in hand my trading journal open and I'm taking notes All right just looking for that one idea so let me go through this quickly I'm a scalper by that I mean I'm in and out quickly always 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 I'm often in and out five minutes or less never more than a couple of hours uh, if we're any more than five to ten minutes something's changed we are momentum traders by the way most books uh, on trading state you only have to be right three or four times uh, here he's got to be right seven or eight times out of ten we're exactly the same or, or I am anyway as a scalper red light green light the 10 EMA is his favorite indicator and of course our favorite is what is the eight very very close to what Marty does here uh, as far as um, <laughs> fundamentals to technicals I've never met people so I've never met a rich, a rich technician I love that so arrogant I used fundamentals for nine years and got rich as a technician he loves his EMAs uh, can you list your trading rules uh, bottom line is is the price above or below the moving average that works better than any tool I have try not to go against the moving averages it's self-destructive um, down here is there anything to add to the list the most important thing is money management money management money management now so in going through and I'm going to quickly go through trade like a casino uh, I've got to uh, else five books on trading on price trends Tom DeMarc you hear me talk a lot about trading refractals and you've got the the, the DeMarc trend lines how he draws trend lines is basically based upon fractals Larry Larry Williams you'll hear me talk about the 1.28 uh, time-based uh, strategy taking swing highs 
all of these um, there's some fantastic stuff in every single book that I go through I pick up something trading chaos and new trading dimensions by Bill Williams uh, where he talks extensively in those books about trading with fractals uh, some great research is done on fractals we look at uh, Tharp and his books he's um, a trading psychologist working out of LA uh, he charges by the way for his super trader program I think I've actually got front cover of his book here fifty thousand dollars to join his super trader coaching program he's got a couple of very very good books out you get top traders with um, uh, swagger which is written back in the 80s some great stuff in those books the new market wizards uh, the best by trading markets new market um, sorry that was conversations with top traders super trader getting into uh, the head stuff when it comes to trading now that up he loves neurolinguistics which is a study of verbal and nonverbal communication and modeling as many of you know I've been doing uh, I've been involved in NLP for gee whiz it's over 30 years now it's incredible over 30 years trading in the zone by Mark Douglas unfortunately Mark passed away a couple of years ago but the stuff that he puts out which we're going to be looking at in a moment uh, Ari the, uh, the book on blink the power of thinking without thinking in the end traders my goal in coaching you is to have you been able to look at a pattern and in a blink of an eye recognize it okay that is what we're after in the end yes you can and what happens in coaching like with likewise with the day traders fast track program if you study it correctly within a short period of time you have what I call aha experiences aha that's what that means you can do this traders uh, Mike Bellafori's book one good trade uh, and he's got another excellent book called the playbook fantastic he runs a prop trading firm out of New York the stuff we get out of these books um, Richard Bandler who's um, one of the founders along with John Grindler of NLP um, one of the things that we can make change in an instant and if you've got a negative block and we talk a lot about this in coaching you've got to practice a swish pattern and I've actually tailored the swish pattern for traders how to create permanent and lasting change now one of the techniques there is to say to yourself to get pissed off with yourself this is ridiculous I'm not going to put up with this behavior anymore and make a move on it you can change because many of the things that I discover with traders it's not the strategies because the strategies work the patterns work if you follow the rules it's the head stuff traders that's what we've got to be following you've got to follow well I recommend anyway is you work hard on like uh, waking the giant within Tony Robbins mater uh, material on NLP is this is by the way and a lot of this I've got on my website a lot of this stuff uh, it's really important and in the end traders this is why you should be listening to me is I've got volumes of these trading journals as I go through these books as I go through the videos I take copious notes as I trade each and every day and as I go through and even in doing my what I call my deliberate practice I take journal notes and I've amassed a mass amount of material over the last 20 odd years what does that mean for you it allows me to give you a massive shortcut now there is an excellent movie I don't know if you've seen it. it's called margin call okay it's it's really good it's a really good uh, video on um, when we saw uh, some of the leveraged um, investments collapse in New York uh, a few years ago now Jeremy Irons is the chairman of uh, of this firm and they've got to um, lay off uh, billions of dollars worth of these toxic um, derivatives that they have issued they, they created and issued and there's a scene when they're in the boardroom having a crisis meeting for 4 a.m. in the morning and they get this guy comes in this analyst he's actually a rocket science scientist but he's actually a guy in his 20s but he's decided he's wanted to go to the finance industry because it's better money but Jeremy Irons turns around and says to this young man speak to me as if you might to a young child or to a golden retriever it wasn't brains that got me here I can assure you of that the reason I say that trading is not about intellect 
okay you, you don't have to be a rocket science you don't have to hold a PhD what you got to be what you've got to really be is patient and disciplined anyone that applies themselves can learn the setups anyone that applies themselves can learn the rules but it really comes down to are you willing to do that now another thing here which, which is really important with that is that as I've been going through all these years I'm always trying to make things simpler hence I use Renko charts I'll look at the tick charts but I'll mainly use Renko why because it smooths the price action out there is a cost to that which I'll show you about that in a moment but I'm always trying to make things simpler and you've heard me probably say this in the past Richard Branson once said and I quote complexity is your enemy any fool can make something look complicated it's hard to keep things simple and it's so true so what we always want to do is continually work on simplifying our setup simplifying our trading now let's start to drill down a little bit about how am I gonna get you in that top 5% or should I say how you're going to get yourself in that top 5% the excellent book called the disciplined trader I believe it should be every traders Bible everyone should have it it should be dog-eared uh, it should be highlighted um, uh, it's just so important that you read this book and basically know it page by page let's break this down now this is really relevant traders uh, is that let's just say if you found trading difficult up to up to now let's draw a line in the sand and let's start again we can use the education that you've gained up till now because there's no doubt some great information but we may need to give you some new training if you're new to my program or if you're new to training trading or just really getting underway this is where we start so this is uh, off one of the pages I think it's 209 or something like that so let me quote uh, Mark Douglas here what you want to do is become an expert at just one particular pattern a pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency to become an expert choose one simple trading pattern that identifies uh, sorry it's trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical our strategies are a good 90 to 95 percent mechanical they're rules based instead of mathematical so you'll be working with the visual representation of market behavior remember I mentioned the book blink before there's a reason for that okay so in the end it's important that you avoid all other uh, possibilities and information in other words master one or two strategies and develop yourself from there now stay with me here what I teach in my program now is 16 plus strategies and techniques now don't feel overwhelmed for the new traders here because you know a lot of these are very closely related quite often you'll have a t1 and a t2 and will fire off at the same same time but you start with only two or three trend following strategies and you build from there we kick you off with only a couple and you can build once you master one you add another very very important who owns the big bucks is it the general practitioner or is it the specialist the specialist always earns big dollars and that is why fortunately over a period of time I've come up with the 2b which is probably the best of the best you go and combine the 2b along with the 34b and maybe the t2 all trend following strategies all patterns that within 30 days you can really master those it'll put you well on the road you then combine that with your money management you combine it with your trading rules now what does this mean to you so I'm going to show you this I'm going to show you how to get there let me once again set a goal for you now in the end you've got to accept this goal you've got to uh, it's got to be yours in the end it's no good me saying to you look here's what you can achieve and you don't believe it so let's start with this humor me once again we have this chant something that I teach traders is five by five yes I can five by five yes I can five by five. it's about getting yourself in what we call state 
getting yourself in positive state when I approach trading I approach it with a positive state if I have a losing trade do you know what that means to me you ripper on one trade closer to a winner that's the coding that I've managed to develop over a period of time now five by five yes I can with the end result of netting per day 200 a day now with the 2b which I'm going to show you today okay it is three by eight yes I can three by eight yes I can because as you're about to see the 2b is very profitable it's a deeper pullback and more profitable now the beauty is because the five by fives usually what we call t t2s and for members you'll know what I'm talking about here they're usually 34 B's t2s or ruler ones and your your two B's are coming back to usually being an 89 B or a deeper pullback you can combine both of these five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can that's 400 a day per contract but let's focus on what's the bottom line if we achieve just 200 and of course you've got this on the in the members website and you uh, we go through this continually in coaching let me quickly remind you of this so if you start off with five thousand dollars now if you're trading Forex or only got a smaller or if you've got a small account you'll start with Forex and you'll build over a period of time the markets are going to be here next month six months time 12 months time stay within your money management or maybe right now you need to trade in sim until you're ready until you build your trading account because if you're going to trade futures you need to have a minimum of four thousand dollars traders all right don't buy the garbage out there where they say to you you only need one or two thousand or you can use the day traders margins of only 600 that many brokers say look traders you're going to blow your account we've got to get you trading right which means discipline focus uh, very disciplines like a muscle the more often you exercise it the stronger you become you've got to have the right size account if you don't have it yet set the goal have a compelling future you will get there but with this you earn 200 a day at the end of one week you've got 6,000 end of five weeks you've now got 10 you can start trading two contracts end of eight weeks you're trading three contracts the bottom line here within 16 weeks you're trading 12 contracts or, or sorry 15 weeks you're trading 10 you're earning ten thousand dollars a week that is the potential that is truly the potential just by achieving five by five yes I can now I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment and as members you already know how to do it you just need the coaching perhaps once again you can watch the videos there are over what is it now probably 300 videos you can watch of this now so let's drill down let me chunk it down and make it easier for you so let's just say here 5,000 a week would probably be a life changer for most people so how do we achieve this after today's session I want you to start to work out and of course we'll do this in coaching but if you want to do it yourself what is your goal stretch yourself give yourself a compelling future what if you were only tr after a hundred dollars a day you trade 10 contracts that's a thousand a day or five contracts at 200 a day okay so let's be conservative say you net 100 a day from each market consider trading two markets that means you only have to net 100 a day from each market to achieve your 200 now for the, for the doomsdays in the room okay yes you need to go for 300 a day to allow for your down days we cover this in coaching and and in my program of course as well okay so this is net at the end of a row that's what we're after per um, per day to end up with our thousand a week okay so this there are some other things we've got to add here I suppose that's what I'm trying to say here but how do you achieve your 100 a day well say if you're trading after hours say if you've got a good job you'd be trading perhaps the evening you're trading the Globex market the ES and, and CL a black gold sorry the uh, yeah the, the, the black gold oil the two fantastic markets you want to trend trade you can trade the two B's the ruler ones until you can trade these so after you have a t20 okay or a t20-1 which is the first trade after a t20 you know you've got a new trend go for your two b's your ruler ones your t1s your slingshots 
okay I'm going to show you an interesting video uh, in, uh, email I received from somebody that's coded the t2s in a moment you'll find it very interesting your t8s okay so you can start with 100 go to 150 go to 200 or trade two markets now I will say that during the New York session uh, I find it very difficult if you're day trading to trade any more than one market now you can if you'd say just trading the two B's but you do need to have the experience now in the end and something that I'm constantly drilling um, our members on is this you've got to develop the patience the discipline and the focus and this is the persona that I have when I trade I'm a rules based pattern trader I lay back I wait for my prey I'm laying back waiting for the trade to come for me unfortunately in many ways we as humans we're hunters we want to go out there and chase the trade we've got to change our psyche when it comes to this now what I'm going to show you traders is some trade stats um, uh, on or potential trade stats if you had have taken and and you can discount them that how okay you can really cut them back but if you traded two B's and this is one of my members and you'll see some more of his emails shortly uh, in this particular case here please see the attached files for three by eight two B's once again we've got the concept three by eight three by eight in our coaching okay so this is his live results and he had three winning uh, uh, two B's that particular day and when he started off he started out off in sim in my coaching then second month he then went live but what I want to do is just talk about the 2b because it's an easy strategy to learn and statistically and the risk reward is outstanding and I really put a huge amount of emphasis on this now for my current members of my program there's a video on the 2b in that folder which I did a few months ago there's also a new cheat sheet v6 version 6 updated on the 25th of the 11th 2018 just on the key points in trading but this is something that you can do with the 2b during the Globex session so when New York closes it's closed for an hour then the Globex market opens up so you could trade the ESCNQ and the CL and if you just to trade the two B's and just be after fifty dollars net which is very very low okay you could have a potential of 400 plus per day or more now I will have I've got to say this and all um, uh, to be very transparent if you're trading any more than one contract traders the NQ is, is very very tough ES you can easily trade five to ten after hours uh, and same with CL so you might have to look to gold okay to actually do it if you're any more than one but if you focused just on one contract walk in the park now I know an extra couple of grand a week I might make a difference to your bills but for many it will but that is the potential this is the sort of thing I want you to start to think about so let's review a number of potential 2b setups on three non correlated futures markets so we'll look at the black gold uh, CL we'll look at the ES S&P ES and we'll look at the yellow metal uh, the gold um, over the non correlated over 24 hours and once again you'll get similar stats on different markets now every market once again has its own personality you need a market where you've got some volume and where you get some trends okay so on the 18th 19th of November um, uh, over 23 hours remember it is closed for an hour and if you haven't trade traded CL before it's ten dollars a tick now I've got to say this that during the um, Globex session I like a two tick Renko which means that it's um, two two ticks or it's twenty dollars per brick and you'll see a couple of charts in a moment uh, but I took these stats on four a uh, four brick Renko so trading basically the whole 23 hours now over 23 hours there are around 36 trades now look trading the 2b there is some personal discretion but it's pretty mechanical like once you start to go into an area of chop you should be standing aside unless your higher time frame is directing you very very important on the higher time frame something that I haven't told you about there there's an excellent book called high probability trading strategies by Robert Miner fantastic book 
and in that particular book he talks about using higher time frames and he calls it the multiple time frame now many of you know for many years I've used higher time frames I've used EMAs to identify a higher time frame or the direction of a trend now I always have displayed my higher time frame I call it my anchor chart and I'll even have what I call an AC2 anchor chart 2 which is a high time frame again and I have a formula to how we display these high time frames okay now what he points out here is this that using multiple time frames he calls it the momentum strategy multiple time frame momentum strategy is the most powerful approach I've discovered in over 20 years to filter any market in any time frame for trade direction and execution the MTF momentum strategies is the key factor to the trade plan that identifies high probability trade setups now as he talks about here is that uh, that really he could probably sell his high time frame momentum strategy on its own for probably thousands of dollars and it's probably better for the most systems that sell for thousands of dollars but what he points out here is this when it's included as part of a trade plan with time price and pattern strategies you have a powerful trade plan that will not only identify high probability trades uh, trade setups but warn you when a trend is near the end and a major reversal is likely now we don't use Robert setups as I feel we've got even better setups from um, uh, than what Robert teaches but we're using the principle what Robert talks about in his book what I'm trying to really I suppose say here traders there's good sound logic behind all of this that I'm teaching you it's just not my brains but it's looking at modeling what others are doing so quickly getting down to this so over 23 hours there were 36 trades ten dollars a tick 25 of those hit plus 10 or better 10 plus now what you can do is capture your runners and I'll show you how to do that we'll go to the live charts very soon but you would have been up 250 ticks uh, you had uh, their seven losses seven trades lost 12 ticks okay that's minus 84 and that is worst case by the way so some trades you're in and you stop uh, was a lot quicker and I'll show you on the charts where you would have put that it was minus 84 ticks you had four break evens now what we do once we hit plus seven we go to break even plus one so it means that we actually would have had some extra dollars in there but let's forget about that less 36 trades by five dollars well of course you're going to get most of your commissions are under five dollars now that's minus 18 ticks the end result if you had have taken every 2b trade just two B's okay over a 23 hour period you would have been up fourteen hundred and eighty dollars per contract the next day you are uh, there were 33 same thing 19 by plus 10 you had seven uh, seven losses seven break-evens 33 trades 16 ticks minus in commissions commissions as you can see can have a big effect uh, you would have been up $900 potentially let me I've got to put that in potentially on the 20th uh, there were um, uh, over 23 hours there were 34 trades had the potential of being up there uh, 1430 uh, dollars now for the next one let's look at the ES so another different market again on the 20th just trading the Globex market now the four tick that I showed you here the four tick candles you can easily trade during Globex and the New York session okay so there are three main sessions we've got New York goes into the Asian session rolls into London you could trade the four it's a lot slower as you're about to see during the Asian it speeds up in London uh, it's a good size generally during New York sometimes it's a bit slow but a bit fast but uh, generally now with the ES um, it's only good at two ticks it's too fast during uh, the New York session far too fast usually okay now on this particular day there were 21 to be trades now 17 uh, uh, were good for five ticks 
and it's 85 ticks now of course a tick on the end if you're not familiar with the ES the ES is four ticks to a point which is fifty dollars twelve fifty a tick the bottom line was you had seven winners four losses uh, no break-evens on that day uh, and you would have been up potentially uh, 612 as volume and volatility increases we get close to New York we increase the Renko size to three ticks so what I've done here if you want to slow it down and, and this is interesting we know of course commissions can have a big effect so if we look at this here you had 21 trades in that time just by increasing it uh, the candle size let me call them candle I know rank over there, technically bricks but I call them candles you had only 13 trades okay so you're up six hundred and twenty five dollars less a lot less trade six twenty five compared to six twelve so you actually had um, what's that uh, seven eight trades less and you're up slightly more but still very very profitable now on the uh, what have we got here the 20 21st here uh, 5 a.m. now during this is during then New York which is over 11 hours so from 5 30 a.m. Eastern Standard to 2 32 p.m. And the reason that it was up to that time even though the market is open later it can get choppy and play up a little bit so I sort of cut it off there there were 52 to be trade so as you can see you can really increase those now if you want less trades you increase the time frame but I also took just about every trade if it looked like a trade I took it well actually let me be very clear I didn't execute them in, in real time I marked them up for you but one thing I'll say about the 2b and just on that because some people say well, look the rule of two is very quick sometimes the, the great advantage of the uh, 2b uh, is because you're looking at two chart it is a deeper pullback you've got a lot more time to prepare for it it is a great trade it'll slow down your trading okay so that's another big benefit members so I just thought I'd mention it specifically for members there that the thing great thing about the 2b because it's a deeper pullback and it's a pattern you get to see well in advance now here in this particular case uh, there were 32 winners by eight ticks uh, here you can see your losses were larger than your winners okay now I'm not including trailing at all and you'll see how easily you could dramatically improve your bottom line uh, you had 10 break-evens and the break-evens was this once you hit plus seven you went to break even plus one so it's probably what's at about another 80 90 dollars in the bottom line that I didn't include there so 54 trades commissions with minus 21 six sets up twelve hundred dollars now basically we can see here I'm looking at my entry chart here and I'm looking at my anchor now there are times when we don't take a 2b or a 34b that is we can see up here we're hitting a floor pivot this is a 2d and a pivot bounce now for members uh, two B's and pivot bounces together so a t19s one D's and two D's um, a, a absolute killer combinations now if, traders if you're uh, listening to this and you you're not a member you pick up the codes they're not difficult the ex explanations as you'll see in a moment exactly what they are but you, you learn those over a period of time but here's a 2b now if you stayed with the ATR if you don't have an ATR you can use a parabolic uh, you can just use the candles themselves uh, you could have easily picked up plus 18 here you could have easily picked up 12 here um, 9 here was plus 6 remember it, we we're at uh, break even by then so and I'm not including any of the counter trend trades here now a big thing here is don't forget to check the 89 and 144 tick chart why these patterns which I talk a lot about these little bubbles are great scalping opportunities they're counter trend trades and this by the way was this is only an 89 tick chart so this is during the Globex session during New York I'm using a 550 tick chart not 89 because the market moves a lot quicker generally speaking but I just wanted to show that because one of the disadvantages traders you have with Renko is it smooths chart out chart action right out but it also can um, uh, 
you can miss some trading opportunities so because I've got multiple screens I'm looking at a couple of different screens but here you can actually trail and I teach you this in coaching and really dramatically improve your bottom line now let's quickly talk about gold because this is important now with gold you'll see here that over to and I trade or recommend the two brick uh, and I'm actually going to jump up to the three and a five let me just say this for existing members I'm probably going to increase it to a three Renko for my entry chart and a five for my anchor okay now and I'll explain why when I show you some charts in a moment over 21 hours uh, there were some hours with towards the end where it gets very choppy with gold there were 37 trades very choppy at times uh, there were 22 six plus trades 132 there were 10 minus 7 which is minus 70 five went to break even bottom line was over that period of time you would have only been up 440 which is a big thumbs down for me however that's if you were just taking the two B's and something interesting happens when on gold your entry chart is a two and your anchor is a four it's too far away um, and existing members you'll, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about there so after a deep pullback retracement on the entry chart by waiting for a candle on the anchor chart to close look there's, there's a lot of little things there and that's something I'm, I'm actually teaching in my coaching class tomorrow I'm going to be talking about that it's really a note there but when you have and one thing I've mentioned in virtually every case whether it was CL or the ES in at least 50% of the failed two B's they turned into what we call a t4 at least 50% into a profitable t4 which would have had an, an enormous increase in the bottom line now uh, for members you can go into that new folder and you'll see I've done some work or a video there on the t4 but it's a great setup very similar to a t10 but when you have a failed to be many of them turn into a t4 now another day here we're up um, similar sort of thing 21 hours 31 trades uh, same situation you're up 500 which is okay over 21 hours however what this is not including traders is my trend trades now let me quickly explain this so members existing members here we had a just there which is off the screen we ended up having a 2b down here we had no 2b see this here they're all rule of ones you had this here is a 2b but no more all the way up here if that's the the a certain thing we have by using a 2 and a 4 okay so where the time frame for Renko is double structurally um, it changes the way I like to see it bounces off my EMA and that is why I'm probably going to jump to a three and a five it'll solve that little issue now with that being said if you're following the t8 concept if there was your uh, there was a t8 there thank you there was your 2b ruler one thank you 34 ruler one thank you 34 and no because here you've got a 2d now here you had a t19 pivot bounce where is your target it's a 34 when you get a 2d where's your target it's the 89 which is the 34 on the anchor and you don't see it but yes you hit it so what I'm saying here is where I talk to you about developing three by eight yes I can and five by five yes I can there is one two uh, that's a break even so you got one break even two three well there's four of your five by fives just in that trend okay um, so we teach this once again so very quickly why do the strategies work so well let's consider the logic behind the t1 the t2 the t7 the t8 uh, they're all trend continuation trades if you like I like to view us as surface surface we're out on the waves we're looking for those ways we sit back 
and we don't start paddling until we get them so the dark blue line here and I know most of you already know this it's a good reminder the dark blue here is our anchor chart this is where we get our retracements our pullbacks okay so we're getting our retracements and our pullbacks and trend continuation this traders is what makes the strategies work so well so I'm covering a whole lot of stuff here so if you want to drill down and master these setups oh one thing I was going to do let's do it now I was going to quickly go to the charts and show you what's happening uh, let me just quickly find this and I know that's blank here for a minute okay so let's just have a look okay so I I get quoted you some days there so what's happening with the two B's right now um, uh, with gold so today traders it's in my part of the world it's the 27th of the 11th okay so it um, uh, so this is uh, the open of the gold market about 20 minutes later after it opened from the Globex we had a 2b which is good for one two three four five ticks we went to break even on that one okay then we had another 2b your entry was not until this third candle just here under according to our rules and this is what I mean you can trail this is where you you pick up one or two of these home runs okay and you've done it now you went down you had virtually a pivot bounce it's a t3 an extreme move pivot bounce there's your pivot okay and a nice rally you then had another 2b now gold has been very very quiet today so you can see here it's just really been fluffing around if you had a shorted you would not in until the third candle okay and quite frankly I would have been out of the market right now but note how your entry was just on the floor pivot okay that's also adds a lot of support so you're selling into support with that being said I believe in what I call time-based stops you've got to allow for the globe accession but once you sort of get above you know eight ten t uh, candles bricks if you want to call them that you've got to be very very careful let's have a look at the black gold here is the globex open from for today now 29 minutes after the market open you actually had a nice 2b now just so uh, if you don't understand these here these little notches okay these bricks each is worth the full brick is worth four ticks so each one of these little nodules is two ticks so and you're not in until the third using a tick chart you can get in quite often a lot quicker I won't refer to tick charts but we do that in our coaching but there that was good for 20 40 60 80 100 it actually hit 11 ticks thank you very much uh, we won't talk about counter trend trades we do of course and, and I've got to quickly say this you must understand CT trading counter trend trading and here is why we have a setup called a one or a 2d uh, a very very um, uh, high probability counter trend trade you never want to trade against it unless you've had a, a retracement back to a certain level back to the 89 okay and so what you had there and, and you didn't have that or well, that is a legitimate one because it went back to the pivot uh, but you want to understand counter trend trading you never want to trade against a strong trend okay or uh, yeah you've got to be very very careful when you've got strong trends uh, for a whole lot of reasons but anyway I'm, I'm taking myself off track here but we do teach you that uh, because that is a brilliant setup so anyway if you had have taken that 2d which um, I love the 2d's 2 4 6 8 10 12 is 120 in that move uh, it actually went up 140 now we had another beautiful 2b using your ATR you can trail you can trail until you get your first reversal candle there's a whole lot of things you can do once you get past your break even so once you're past eight six two four six now you hit eight now at plus eight you would have been out of that trade on that one but you then had a re-entry members right on that candle there 20 40 60 80 1 120 140 160 let's be conservative 140 okay what's our target per contract 200 a day now we then had a, a really nice t19 divergence trade these are very mechanical trades once you understand them 
uh, traders we now have a classic 200 EMA overshoot okay now that was good for eight ticks there there were eight ticks but what you also had all the way up note this traders was t8 trades all the way up now what I would be doing is looking at a tick chart because you would be trading this all the way up there there's reasons why you would take that one you had a t10 thank you very much but I'm digressing a bit there but there is one more let's just have a look at the ES you remember ES we looked at the 0.75 rather than 0.5 because uh, you had less trades but it was more profitable so since the Globex open today which is um, 5 p.m. we can see here you had one two three so you had three two B's and you've had uh, one uh, now I marked that up as a one or a 2d it was a bit marginal but uh, definitely it's a very clear-cut 1d which means our target is back here which it actually hit but let's just go along and have a little little look here but what have I also got now all the way up here your trading is these are all rule of ones and, and let me quickly explain this if you're watching this if you're not a member or even if you are it's, it's a good to hear it again we have a concept called follow the gold okay so if price is above the gold generally speaking we want to be going long if we're below the gold we want to be looking for shorts these black dots represent something very unique on Renko called the rule of one we're in basically on the close or the second when we have a t8 condition you can take these to the cows come home okay take as many of those as you want until you get a lot of what we call angulation the further away you angle from your EMAs the more likely you are traders to have a retracement or a pullback you've got to be cautious then but the point is you've got one two three four now that was uh, 20 40 60 80 20 40 60 80 uh, 20 40 60 All right basically you've almost hit your your uh, five by five yes I can just on your ruler ones so what you're doing traders is combine combine let me get this out right combining the power of what we call the two B's a specific reason for calling them two B's but you'll get great runs and taking them along with your ruler ones and your 34 B's and a combination of other trades now if you're new to trading you may be thinking this is all confusing traders you'll pick it up it ain't rocket science it's a bit like driving the car and that's the whole purpose of coaching so in the coaching let's quickly go through this what you receive it's two sessions a week for four weeks uh, eight to our live sessions your investment for that now don't leave yet because there's still a lot of good stuff I want to show you it's some really important stuff I want to show you some setups okay it's only 497 now if you join say halfway through a month if you're watching this and half a month is through and you join you get to sit through the, the rest of the month and you get the full next month I want to make sure even though you get the recordings from the start of this month okay so you get all the recordings that month but you get to sit through the full eight sessions of next month so you're never disadvantaged if anything you get in bonus sessions now you can then sign up for second months onwards and as I said we've virtually got permanents now that that sign on and they're full-time traders that do it every month for 197 as we say it allows them to get um, a checkup from the neck up because we all suffer from a hardening of the attitudes because what we're doing over the coaching sessions of course is going through hundreds of potential trades over the month we cover when not to take a trade when to take a trade where to enter the market where to place your stop where to take your profit using either a fixed or um, target or a trailing um, you receive dozens of marked up charts which you can download or we have powerpoints which you also get so I'm also giving you uh, uh, there's I think there's about seven powerpoints that coaching members get uh, on their own um, to, in, exclusively on uh, with a whole lot of different things like for the t8 there's one for trading chop there's uh, you know there's a heap of powerpoints very very important what we do go through is the master traders checklist now members this is in already the members area the general members area you can get a copy of this as well 
okay but um, with the coaching members we go through is basically line for line to get you to set you up so for the trend trades you can see here if you'll go right down to there there's a whole lot of stuff on trading with the trend we focus on two or three of these setups okay we really focus for an example if you like range charts I'll teach you rule of two but if we're trading Renko we go for the rule of one the T1 is very very important if you don't have the super scalper you're simply looking on Renko for three high lows three high let me say that right three higher closes or three lower closes we cover setting up of your indicators so that's with the trend changing of a change of trend that is where fortunes are made when you can learn or discover um, uh, that you've got a new trend we teach you that or I teach you that I should say counter trend trading do I have angulation now that is I'll teach you when the trend is ending when do we have a new trend and how to trade the CTs there's a lot of money to be made in counter trend trading however the greatest challenge many traders particularly newer traders um, uh, lose their uh, their accounts by trying to counter trend trade become a specialist initially trend trade only but I teach you these counter trend trades because you want to know when not to take a trend trade because at times if it's a 1d or a 2d you want to stay out of the trend trades initially because they're usually either a, a really good strong change in trend or, or a good decent pullback and you can be stopped on those so with our traders checklist we go through a huge amount of information uh, a whole lot of different options that I give you now many of the handouts that I give you in coaching are also uh, word documents so you can alter them and change them around now as you know there's 16 plus whoops uh, uh, strategies and techniques that I teach you we cover those but we focus on um, really a handful of those which are the really important ones now I mentioned uh, fortunes are made in new trends and by learning how to trade the t4 the t10 the t20 exactly what a t20 is and the t21 and just to remind everyone of that the t20 that the one just means the first trade in a new trend so it can be any of the others but you can pick up a big percentage of these trends particularly with the 34 B's the slingshots etc are very very important when you're trading those okay what we cover extensively in training and you get fixed charts on a lot of these okay so this is just one of them and these are actually some live trades I've taken personally uh, is that's a 2d 2d's remember earlier I mentioned 2 D's are good back to the 89 I should have actually still been in that one but it come back to the 89 so here you had uh, your 34s you had your, uh, your, your a two there's a 2b that's a 2d that's a 1d um, here you had a 1d that failed it turned into a rule of one a great 2d now um, uh, yeah, sorry a 2d so many things I'm trying to get this is uh, getting along this video here I teach you how to trade the 1d's the t3's and the pivot bounces pivot bounces pivots are price magnets very very powerful now uh, here we're looking at CL by the way CL we trade the round numbers see how it bounced off for 74 notice how you get a bounce on the 80 and you'll get a bounce at the 20 cent levels so when you're trading CL 20 cent 80 cent 74 75 down with now down what around 50 at the moment all of those are very important areas that's a rule of one short that's a rule of one short that's a rule of one short now in taking this this is what we call a pivot trade a pivot magnet trade this is a 2b okay a very two b's as we know are a good generally an 80 percent trade where's your exit down at the floor pivot the magnet okay next one is trading the 2b that's a 2b that's a 2b that's a 2b and you'll hear me talk about the famous 200 overshoot this is a kick butt strategy the 200 overshoots a pattern that we see you might only see it uh, once maybe two or three times a day in each market but it's a beauty 
okay but when you understand it exactly how it forms uh, even though it looks like a counter trend trade um, they're a great trade to take because it's still in the direction of the major trend on the anchor here we've got again 2b now if you're starting out for the first time or a new trader just trade with the trend 2b thank you very much thank you very much 2b oh and where's your stop go your stop is just under here it's one tick under your swing low here so even though this formed a bit the farm a nice little double bottom against the pivot you weren't stopped on that signal so you had an entry signal there you still would have been in it and what you can actually do here is that when you've got a bet the farm comes up and if you're uh, say trading only half a percent or one percent under the two percent rule we never trade any more than two percent open positions at any one time you can add to your position now remember also about running and going for higher profit targets this is a four tick so 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 there's 300 dollars in that move and you still don't have a reversal candle your ATR hasn't stopped and flipped or you haven't closed under the trigger line which is not to there so you can pick up some great runners if you had have got used a one candle reversal you were in until there 20 40 60 81 20 let's just say 20 say 120 so bet the farms three by eight three by 80 you can see here you can far exceed those if you trade these properly let's have a look at another one I teach you how to trade around choppy congested markets these are account killers um, but once you get to understand chop and how to trade around these like right here if you look at your tick chart and this is an example of using the Renko see how the Renko takes off uh, and you don't have any real entries but you did have on the tick chart which is that point there you actually had a t2 one of the things we want to do is when we've been in a choppy zone our best way to confirm our trade continuation is a t2 the next one here this is how to trade the t4 the t4 quite often coincides with a slingshot or a t2 trade uh, it is a, a reliable pattern that we see off these extended markets and this is where we quite often will have a failed to be it turns into a t4 it kicks butt okay it's a great it, it complements the two B's beautifully 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 dear what's that word <laughs> you can tell I'm tired traders I've been up since the very wee hours trading and it's now three o'clock in my afternoon I should be having my nap <laughs> um, uh, I call it my Winston Churchill nap by the way okay so we've rallied up here so we've got a nice little bounce here's a 2b again and I've got here you can't really see it there and that was during coaching but um, here I said target the pivot so there we've got um, 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 there's two 250 300 dollars in that one move by trailing down to there so we teach you how to do that in coaching the t8 which is high probability trading which is where we're using the anchor chart now that's a t8 trade t8 t8 now um, there it, we've got no t8 conditions until over here we've now got members only trading if they've got a t8 condition met they won't take any trade unless t8 conditions uh, this is once again is that a repeat uh, I think it is actually I should really scrub that's a repeat of the one up the top there I'll take it off later okay how to trade around shop now as I mentioned you only need to master one setup the 2b once you own it you add another now what else are you going to add you're going to add the 34b now this is going back a few years and this was done um, by one of my members who did his testing on it this is going back 2016 profit factor of 3.63 82 percent accurate when you combine the 34b's with the t8 condition it kicks butt okay it's just a matter of learning how to trade these now with a lot of these traders it comes back to being patient waiting for all of the trade conditions to come together now 
in the program you get dozens of marked up charts a lot of these now are put in PowerPoint formats which you download and I go through it on the recordings where I explain the good the bad and the ugly of those and we we also look at the trades of that day all right now let's very very quickly let me put this on pause I've got to show you something that's happening right now so what we're looking at right now the globe session here traders we can see here we've got a nice entry nice entry all t8 conditions on my anchor look at this here you've just wrapped up your whole trading day in the last uh, two hours it's all wrapped up and finished now each one of those hashes there is worth 1250 okay so there's eight ticks you need eight of those to meet a hundred okay one two okay uh, and your stop here has gone under there so you don't get your your full target until you're up here somewhere let's say 34b uh, you've gone straight through the pivot the point is and this is the after hours market there's always trading opportunities and I just wanted to jump on those and look at the slingshots that you've got there traders all the way up ruler ones slingshots just a ton of trade sorry can't help myself sometimes I have to show you those okay the other big thing we go through is you've got to practice the fundamentals every day perfect prepara preparation prevents poor performance some would say down in Australia we say perfect preparation prevents piss poor performance excuse my language ladies but it's true what's your hour of power we go through red flags we explain you get to understand exactly what those are you get to understand why and how to trade midline and floor pivots we review marked up charts but these are things that you end up doing as you trade each and every day in session one you get a pile of word documents and charts I'm not going to go through all of these in session two there's a pile of charts word documents and PDFs so if you like each session we're going through more and more handouts many of these are not in my general day traders fast track program these are exclusive for some of these are exclusive for the coaching and relevant to the coaching sessions that we do we cover a ton of, ton of other stuff of course the big one you um, uh, you hear me constantly talking about is the head stuff the psychology of trading you know thinking in trade lots we trade like the casino we've got the house edge traders if we're trading with the trend we know what the trend is we're trading in the direction of Yanker chart we're trading within one or two candles of a retracement and trend continuation you know you can't be any quicker than that and that's what people don't understand it's the best of the best entries okay so feedback from coaching members let's just go through this this is from a coaching session now these none of these are testimonials that I've asked for these are all just snapshots of emails or from chat in the room this is a typical day been learning to use the don't love it 200 a day per contract that simple mainly trading the t20 on the NQ yes I can once again you'll hear me talk about the heads up yes I can yes I can that makes a massive difference I double my account in only uh, two to uh, two weeks really good stuff love the head stuff another excellent class okay um, Ray, it's been a pleasure uh, here um, now this particular member now is uh, I think he's up to 150 200 a day his end result is to hit 700 per contract per day that's his uh, goal by December in day trading a couple of markets he's mainly looking for two B's t2's t7's 34 B's what are all those they're all trend following strategies uh, here um, uh, passionate trend no BS likes the uh, ins and outs thanks for it we get I get to the point excellent start uh, 550 now I think uh, this might might have been in sim but started trading in sim that's where you start with and traders even if you tell me you've got a hundred thousand dollars you only ever start in sim then you go to one contract and double it you do not start with a large account and then I'll go into the reasons for that okay um, this client here is up to uh, 150 a day he's uh, about to move up to um, uh, two contracts uh, well now he can he had his um, well over two hundred dollars a day you saw this members um, charts he sent through three charts actually for his three trades 
uh, Terry here made 196 trading one contract now I think it, that might have been in sim but um, uh, he's only been in there three weeks and now I think uh, Terry might be in his second and I know Terry will be listening to this your second or third month now uh, with me now do you have to attend every month the answer is absolutely not you don't have to attend every month I give you enough and you got the recordings but for many traders because we're going through over the months hundreds of different trade setups many full-time traders that I've got go through every month it's giving them that regular coaching it's reminding them of things that they may have forgotten it's going through any patterns they may not I may not see too often but I point out uh, never had a losing day since trading the Renko's on uh, the NQ uh, this is here from cam cam I think you've been with me for about four months I know you'll watch this about four months um, uh, and I know um, uh, cams a professional from England is in there so traders what you're getting here is 16 hours of live coaching for 497 now if you're trading only one contract you've got the potential to recoup your entire investment in joining my program in only one or two days of live trading think about that 497 don't be cheap with your education what amazes me still traders is the amount of traders that will I think nothing of putting five or ten thousand dollars in their trading account if they won't spend a few hundred dollars on their coaching now as I said earlier virtually everything is in there really is in the day traders fast track program but if you want a coach if you want me there teaching you step by step live for a month effectively two two hour sessions a week if you want to be live trading within the, uh, the shortest time possible that's what this coaching is about even if you're brand new to my setups you will not learn any quicker than listening to me go through every single day we go through the fundamentals uh, it reminds you of John Wooden the greatest basketball coach ever he would get his, his um, basketball players to do say 500 bank shots a day but they'd say coach I know how to do that and he says yes I know you know how to do it but I want to know you can do it when it most counts we're very very big I'm huge about fundamental traders mastering the 34 B's mastering trend recognition so you understand these so in a blink of an eye you can tell whether you're probably going into chop not always because sometimes you'll have all of your EMAs come together and then they go and once again they start to fan out that's trading nothing's perfect about trading but what the private coaching is about is how is, is really holding your hand giving you great email support answering your questions in the coaching class where you can type in questions at the end of each day you receive the recordings so you've got permanent access to the recordings as I mentioned after the first month it's only 197 a month so to sign up simply visit my website uh, or in the email that you probably received a link to this recording you will find the link to sign up now there is also a coaching form uh, which gives me a bit more information about your background what programs uh, you've used or what courses you may have attended if you could fill that out as well in the coaching area or you'll see it in the email you've received because it gives me a good idea of who's in the room uh, in the room I only have 20 new members a month so I've got old existing I don't want to call you old I've got repeat members in there that attend every month but I only take on 20 newbies and the reason being is usually because of the amount of emails I get from you or questions that come in so I limit the intake uh, each month so thank you traders um, uh, and I certainly hope that you got some ideas out of this go back if not shame on you go back and rewatch it because if you looked at those charts if you you know you get to see what we're doing or saw what I'm doing what I've recommended there's some great strategies there for you thank you traders and uh, I hope to see you in my coaching program